All right, I'm going to keep this uh, short. I've talked about uh, Calypso BTS before, and uh, to run it, you need certain types of phones. Uh, in this case, I have two uh, Motorola phones. I'm only going to do this on one, I think, right now. I have a, C I think it's a C139 and a C118. And everything you need is in uh, Dragon OS Focal uh, to do this, to include the firmware and the binaries to run what I'm about to show, as well as this uh, Auto Calypso BTS, which is a graphical user interface for it that's going to run everything, uh, make it a little easier to set up. Uh, but before you do any of this, uh, there, you might, well, you need everything uh, shielded so that, uh, you know, nothing is uh, transmitting over the air. This is just for an uh, educational setup here, so I'm not trying to encourage anything. Um, I have a Blade RF XA9 uh, in with the uh, other equipment that I'm about to talk about that will be the uh, will act as the existing GSM BTS because for Calypso BTS to work, the phones need a timing or a clock source. So I will temporarily use the Blade F uh, XA9 using Yate BTS also in DragonOS to be the GSM BTS, and then. We have the Motorola phone, and then an Android phone. We're going to try and send a text message to uh, once it's on the Calypso BTS. Okay, all right. With all that said, you can find the project page here on GitHub. All of this is already set up in the latest Dragon OS Focal. And something unique about uh, this video is everything is running on a Rock Pi X, which is the same form factor and size as a uh, Raspberry Pi 4. It's just that it's x86 64 bit. Okay, so we're going to go uh, pull up the directory for auto clips of BTS. And if we look, we really just need to do a sudo python3 auto BTS. And we are only going to use one phone, which I've done some configuration beforehand, but I think the one phone I'm going to use is the C140XOR at USB, uh, TGY USB 0. You're also going to need special cable cables uh, to go from the USB port uh, over to the um, port on the phone to make this work. Alright, so let's try and bring up one of the phones here. It looks like I've got the right phone, so what's happening now is the phone is going into a mode that is allowing the uh, RockPi X to send it over a firmware. I'm going to plug an external power source uh, into the phone as well. And so on the screen of the phone right now, it's saying Osmocom BB. And uh, we will bring up Yate BTS to give us a... Um, clock source and let me think what else to explain here so if you look at the other videos you would see there's also a firmware that you can load onto the phone that will turn it into basically a GSM spectrum analyzer and so I've uh, used that to find the right uh, IRFSEN or setting for the uh, GSM that we're looking at and I've plugged that into the clock source I'm going to take that dash 2 off because we're only going to use one phone for this. Uh, with one phone we should be able to send a text message. The Osmo, or I'm sorry, the OpenBSC and the Osmo BTS made some slight changes to that. I'll try and remember to put that in the description. And uh, <clears throat> let me think what else. Uh, we should be able to start our clock source. So we've got the TRX clock indication. We can see some activity on the phone. And uh, let's see, let's try and bring the VTS online. And we did not have uh, luck that time. Let's try again. All right, what we can do is, so I guess it's good to have some troubleshooting here. Sometimes uh, it just doesn't... Uh, want to come online here. Let's try and send firmware again. Okay, do the clock. All 
All right, here we go. So uh, after several attempts here, this is what you should be seeing. And so we are going to try and in our little cage setup here, go ahead and try and connect to this. Maybe. Okay, we should be on the network now, and let's send a test SMS, that's an older one I sent, uh, let me send another one here. Alright, there we go. So, and let's send one more for good measure here. Alright. So there you go. There's using a uh, Motorola uh, Calypso BTS and the Auto Calypso B BTS to set everything up and uh, send a uh, message. If I were to hit subscribers, I'd see a list uh, with the uh, information for the, th this phone that's connected. You could open up the BSC console too and do things manually if you need to. And yeah, so that's using one phone and Auto Calypso BTS. All right, thank you.